the fuck was that? Come in! The Earth is flat! Not you again. I thought we were done with you. Well, lads and lassies, I am always prepared to accept when I was wrong, and in this case, I absolutely was. Not that long ago, I made the bet that Nathan Thompson would completely leave the internet and move on to a new grift. Some of my guesses were that he would move into the personal healthcare kind of thing, teaching people how to juggle metal balls and tap balls on hammers and all that kind of stuff. I thought maybe he'd go down the route of Kent Hoven and try to set up his own little church. Alas... I was wrong and he has returned to the world of flat smacking. Here's a video of him walking down the highway, irritating people in their cars. Enjoy. Lads and lassies, you might want to stay around to the end of this video because Nathan gets into it with the lady in a supermarket and she runs rings around. Go on, fire. The earth is flat. You gotta read this, bro. It's super important. Can I ask you a question, Tim? Can I chat with you? You a military guy? No. No? Just wearing the camo? He's wearing camo? I thought that was just a floating head and a floating hand in a car, I gotta tell you. I got a dog in my car too, bro. Those are your two best friends? Uh, they're my companion. Yeah. Right on, he's my best friend, dude. He rolls with me everywhere. Just to let you know, it's not me putting the captions in here. These are Nathan's ones. So in case you didn't know what he was doing here, he's trying to make small talk. Right on, Will. So you don't want a flat earth flyer? No. Right on, you ever looked into flat earth? No. You don't think it's important to figure out where we live? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> I like this guy. So you want a flat earth flyer? No. Nah. So you've never heard about Flat Earth before? Nah. So you don't think it's important to know where we live? Nah. Do you know any other words? Nah. What do you think's important? Life itself, probably. Life? What about death? Is, it, is that important? Because it's part of life. Well, death's kind of a uh, finality, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think any one of us is qualified to know exactly what that is. Well, Jesus himself said, if you believe in me, you'll never die. You'll have eternal life. Ah, uh, here we come with the uh, Bible bullshit. Hey, it's me. <laughs> and I was right then too. I did not put me in this video. He put me in this video. Rent free, Nathan. Although, to be fair, <laughs> y'all know what I'm going to say. He tries to live rent free everywhere. <laughs> Just believe. How cool is that? He didn't even say, give me your right arm, walk on one leg the rest of your life. My burden is easy, my yoke is light. That's what he says. So I just wanted to share with you. Thanks for rolling down the window and chat with me, Tim, while we're here hanging out, dude. Have a great day at the beach, okay? Now, you may not have actually heard what Tim said there, but what I imagine he said was, okay, yeah, you go have a good day too, you crazy bastard. I just want to give you a flat earth flyer, bro. What's that? It's a flyer. It talks about where we live, dude. They're okay. lying to us about everything. NASA is a disinformation company. Oh, let me get this guy too, bro. I got to get him, man. He's been pulling over right away for me. This is a flat earth flyer. You ever met a flat earther? I always say everyone's a flat earther. I just know it. Most people don't know it yet. The creator said, you are my people. You're going to know the truth. He said, I'm not going to put you on the earth and let you be deceived your entire life. Maybe up till you're 30 like me, you know. You're, you're not even 30 yet. You're looking young, bro. Dude, you got a good job working for 23. You got nice shades. You're looking sharp, man. Now, for the psychologists out there, that again is another example of small talk. Yeah, for sure. You read your Bible or no? No. Right on. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they lied to us about creation. So from Genesis 1, the Creator's been telling the truth about everything, bro. About his son dying on a cross because we're weird sinners. I was young watching pubs. I don't do any of that crap anymore. So he paused and 
redacted what he said there. Now, I don't know what he said. It sounded like the end of it, the word clubs, perhaps. He says, I plead the fifth. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think it was that he was doing when he was a young guy. So, he saved me, dude. I just want to share You have a good day, all right, bro? I got to get another flyer for your homie back there. See, you can spend two hours debating one person on modern day debate and everyone in the chat has already made up their freaking mind. Or you can go out in nature and make a tit of yourself, perhaps? Where people usually haven't even heard of it still and share the truth about where we live. Ah, okay, well, close enough. Let's get this guy. You my man. So imagine that last part of the interaction from the perspective of the guy in the truck. He sees this homeless looking dude running towards him going, what would you be thinking? I know what I'd be thinking and it'd be sitting on my lap ready to go. Merka. Bro, you pulled over for me so quick every time, dude. I appreciate that. I was trying to make the roadblock super yeah, hard, dude. Good, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, is that your buddy up there? Yes, yes. He's cool, dude. Right on. Right, dude. You have a blessed day. I just want to give you a flyer. You have something to read, bro. Have you ever heard about Flat Earth or looked at YouTube? Yeah. I've been sharing it for five years, testing it for five years. If it wasn't even a resemblance of true, I promise you I wouldn't be getting out of my car at Roblox, dude. If there wasn't a resemblance of truth, I think the word that you are grasping for there is semblance. I would not waste my time. Yeah, of course. Be blessed, bro. Service to many leads to greatness is what Jesus said. Most people just worry about themselves all the time, bro. They're so freaking in their little bubble on their phone, on the TV. It's just bro, me, me, me. Amen, bro. Yeah, yes! I mean, Isn't it great up here? Isn't it great up here? Bro, I've been reading a book about San Francisco. They have a, one of the giant, like, megawatt towers there. The book's called The Invisible Rainbow. If you message me on Instagram, I'll send you some info about it. But uh, it, it talks about EMF, radar, ultrasound, cell phones. It's all literally killing the crap out of us. And and then the food, bro. The I, I've been vegan for six years. How do you know there's a vegan in the same room as you? Don't worry, they'll tell you. No gym in 10 years. I'm in the gym, I don't do sit-ups. This is like a, it's like a rock, dude. It's stupid, dude. It oh, it's stupid, all right. And not your six pack. We're, the, the, what we're eating is poison. What we're watching is poison. I just, I'm looking for people like you out there, bro. You're awesome, dude. Have a blessed day. Wow. Didn't even miss the roadblock. Nice. So that's the end of that video, folks. But now we move on to the next one where he harasses a lady inside a supermarket and she roasts his ass. Anyone ever told you you're on stolen land and you should be wearing a mask? Uh, what? Let's take this one from the top. You read your Bible? Ah, uh, here we come with the uh, Bible bullshit. Hey, it's me again. I'm native, nah. It's not native? Thing. No. Not our thing. <laughs> Natives don't sin? Uh, we aren't really big with the church, you know. Me neither. Oh. Yeah, what the church actually means, the people. Because, like, when the 12 disciples went out, they didn't have buildings to go to. They were just in flip flops with, like, a robe on, and then they went around talking to people. <laughs> right? So that was the church so at first. Out here? Um. Oh, Jesus died for your sins, whether you're an Indian or American. <laughs> whether you're an Indian or an American. Uh, she's about as American as you can get, my friend. I think Jesus I've been- was just a man, you know, a really good dude. He walked on water. <laughs> Have you ever seen a man walk on water? Have you? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Have you ever seen a man walk on water? Have you? Well, have you? No, I haven't, okay. but it was, it was written. <laughs> oh, it was written. That clears it all up. And then Harry Potter swished his wand and Voldemort died. Well, it was written, so I mean, it must have happened, right? Jen, I need a wand. Nathus disappears. And this scriptures, I mean. Nope, didn't work. They, you, okay. They've been verified for 2000 years up to a mile high. Like, um. They didn't prove he walked on water. 
Well, scientifically, that's why it's a miracle. That's why it's a miracle. What I think you mean is that's why it has to be a miracle, because scientifically it's not possible. And because scientifically it's not possible, the chances of it actually having happened are essentially goose egg. Zero. You're awesome. Thank you. Well, you are what you eat, so if I was a... What is it with all these guys getting completely inappropriate with women lately? It makes no sense to me. Just don't go there, man. Can't talk about Jesus and say that at the same time. There you go, Michelle. Anyone ever told you the earth's flat? The Indians know that. <laughs> Anyone ever told you you're on stolen land and you should be wearing a mask? <laughs> Anyone ever told you you're on stolen land and you should be wearing a mask? Why would I wear a mask? I love how Nathan always does this. He goes from, hey, how are you? Do you read your Bible? And I love you, and you're my Christian friend. To, Why would I wear a mask? How do you think you're a Christian guy? Don't ever question the guy. He's a narcissist. He can't put up with that, especially from a woman. If you got that reference, leave a comment down below. Jail Warren, I know you got that reference. Really? Because it says in the front, mask required? Oh, just because it says? <laughs> so in the said show me your papers and they're like why should i show you my papers they're like well there's a sign out front that says you got to show us your papers does that make it does that make it right well you just told us about how you got a book about some dude wearing flip-flops walking on water does that make that true but not what's written on that sign because you don't agree with it but it was written so must be true then by your own measures i just love how this lady is just laughing in his face she's like ah <laughs> in the background she does not take this guy seriously at all and i tip my imaginary hat to you madam not a good idea in my opinion well, opinions are like belly buttons everybody's got one and they don't hold much water unless you're a doctor or you work for the cdc nah. well then that conversation's over <laughs> well you said i should be wearing a jesus would want you to like you know care about other people yeah he would he would put hands on the sick, not stand six feet away from them. <laughs> You're laughing. Like, it's a joke, but I'm right. I'm laughing because I'm trying not to say, you know, stuff that I probably shouldn't say out loud. Somebody get this lady a medal. She's just awesome. I love how much she is triggering this guy right now. I just bet he wishes he could turn around and be like, moderator, moderator. There ain't no goddamn moderators for you, boy. Speak your heart. I'm not scared. I'm a big boy. Um, it's not about that. I mean, you already said I'm on stolen land. Like, I stole your land. I was born here. I didn't steal anything from anyone. Are you like, native? Are you native? Yeah, I was born here. Yeah, I'm native to North America. Indigenous? What do you think? Just because your ancestors were born here, you're special and I stole land from you? That's psycho. You're, you're weird. That's weird. All right, guys. What? Yeah, of course. But I'm just calling out weirdness. Like, to pretend I stole something from you. No, pretend you pretending I stole something from you is I'm rude. To you about Jesus. I never stole anything from you, okay? That's crazy talk. Your kids did. Okay, do you want some money? How much did I steal from you? I got changed for a hundred. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're, cr you're crazy. I am having a great day. You have a blessed life. He said that like as if he was a teenage girl that just broke up with her boyfriend. She was like, well, you have a great day. Well, you have a blessed life. <gasps> Screw you, man. I bet he's still salty from when he broke up with that guy that looked like him. I actually don't even remember his name. Can, I, can anybody tell me in the comment section what that guy's name was? I swear I legit cannot remember. Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon or a member. New perks being released in the coming days. Thank you so much. Sláinte.